Hi guys, this is Tracy from Live In Your Stamps and welcome to another demonstration today. A demonstration with a difference because we're going to be using our brand new stamps. Okay, so we have here, we've got Woodside View, we've got Meadow Cottage and we've got Woodland Cottages. So I've used all of these in a combination to create this lovely sort of wintry Christmas scene. Let's pop those to the side. We're going to be using our circular card here. This is just a grey card stock. Um, and I'm using the pan pastels initially. This is just a white just to create that sort of white background using one of our smoothies. And then I'm stamping the uh, houses onto our watercolour card, colouring them in, cutting them out and then sticking them down. So let's just pop that to the side and get started. So just loading that sponge up, make sure that we've got the right side, only because I've done that so many times where it's been upside down. Um, and then we're just creating that sort of circular motion just to give us that sort of nice sort of effect. That's all we need to use that for. Now I don't fix it but of course if you've got a fixed tip and you want to use that that's fine it will save it brushing off but um, I find it doesn't really move that much so I don't I don't bother too much with that. Um, okay so I have some watercolor card here this is just this is just to show you now what I would be doing to um, create these houses so I'd ink up in the nocturne obviously using the um, the VersaFine Claire because it's an oil based ink which means that I can paint using my clean colour pens over the top and my image won't budge at all that's why I love the VersaFine Claire not only that it brings out fabulous detail detail like I know other for me VersaFine every time um, I've got a combination of colours here, remembering your sort of blending tool, um, sorry your blending brush, I'm going to, let's put a little bit of orange in first and blend that out with a yellow. And these, these brushes are absolutely fab. I was never too sure about them initially because I, I do like a paintbrush. But then when I started having a go with these, they are just so easy to use. I think that's, that's the thing. I haven't got to think too much about it and they're just easy to blend. The blue door. Now I'm just doing this quickly, but you know you can use whatever colours you prefer. I'm not even being that careful really about going over the edges, but that's the beauty of watercolour painting. You know you don't have to be precise at all. So nice and quick, and now I will cut that out. Now I'm not bothered about the chimney, um, not on this occasion. We could always stamp it onto the card first, 
but if you're really good at fussy cutting, which I know a lot of you are, you might just want to cut around that chimney, but I'm afraid I don't have the patience for cutting. Some of you guys, you are absolutely amazing at this fussy cutting. Um, and I take my hat off to you. But for me, I just, I'm just showing you quickly. Okay, pop that in there. And we've got our first little house. Okay, so we can make our scene. So as Blue Peter would say, here's ones I made earlier. So I've got them all here, all cut out ready. And now I can just put them all together on the card. So coloured them all differently. So I need my glue. Well, let's just have a think first how we're going to position them because that's always quite important just to sort of think about that. Go with that one and that one because that's a little bit different in colour. Um, we've got a little one there. Little one. I mean, you can do as many or as little as you want. It's entirely up to you. So if I bring him a little bit higher, as I can fit him in as well. Okay, just, just have that idea. You could always mark it out on the card if you want, if you're not sure. So I'm going to go with those two background ones first. So just pop a little bit of your glue onto the back there. Now these two little houses are actually quite similar in colour, so I didn't think about that. Um, I think on this one I painted the far one green, so just have a think about the colours when you're layering them on top of each other. Not that it's the, the end of the world at all, but if I'd thought about that I would have painted that one a slightly different colour. Um, okay. And then lastly, another little house and we're going to pop them over there, like so. Just keep pressing those down. I mean, the bippity boppity glue does dry really quickly, but I have put quite a bit on, so we might just need to give that five minutes before we start embossing. So, um, as I have said before, we've got two quickie glue pet pens. We've got a thick one and we've got a thin one, so depending on how much snow you want uh, on the roofs, depends on which pen you use. I'm going to go for the thicker one because um, I want a fair bit of snow on top of these.
And don't worry too much if you feel like you've put too much on because we can just get one of our fine brushes and dust any of the excess off anyway so don't worry about that and now I'm going to pop some down here on the floor I'm just covering the bottoms of the houses as well just the base there As I say, we can tidy all that up after. Main thing is just get get some on there, and then we can sort out brushing it off after. Okay, so I have got here the white puff powder. Let's pop that on over the top. Just a bit there, and a bit there. Excellent. Right, let's put that back in there. Now you don't have to do this on grey card, you could do it on white card, you could do it on black card. Um, you know, have, a, have, have an experiment and see what works. Um, but I just like the idea of them being cut out and put on a different colour background. It makes it a little bit more three-dimensional. Okay, right, so let's get my little tiny, tiny, tiny brush that is fabulous for this sort of thing. And just tidy it up. I don't think there's an awful lot to do, to be honest. Um... Maybe take a little bit more off there. But overall, that's not bad. Okay. So take the um, heat gun now, we're going to heat that up and we're going to turn it into snow. Okay, so we can look at that now, we can add any more, um, if we feel like there's some gaps there we can just use our pen again, add some of, more of our embossing powders, or I am literally just going to go in with a white Posca and just add any areas that I felt that I've missed with the Posca pen. Which actually isn't that much, but just be careful with your Posca pen because I know that sometimes when we press down it can pull, so just be mindful of that really as well. That just gives it a nice sort of evenness now. Okay, so now I am just going to do some little 
snowflakes around the houses. Now I'm doing this in a controlled manner, but as you know, we can also just, um, let me just use the back of this for an example. You could always get your um, Posca pen and literally tap. Okay, that gives, that gives us a really beautiful snow effect as well. So that's just another way of creating snow. I'm just doing it a little bit more controlled today. And now I'm just going to dot. So I've got some big snowflakes and I'm going to put tiny little dots in as well. It's just all this like um, attention to detail, it does make that bit of difference, you know. And straight away that's given us a little bit more depth now because we've got a few different sizes of snowflakes. one or two over the top of the houses as well. Looks like we're entering quite a snowstorm here. We all love a bit of snow though, don't we? Especially if we haven't got to go out in it, that's the thing. Okay. I'm happy with that now. All we're going to do is add some glitter uh, over the top. Now, I just need a tiny, tiny bit. cut the end of this so it's a little bit thick actually so what I might do is squish some out and then add the brush I've got a little bit more control there yeah that's better there we go just paint that in then I forgot to put the lid on to the stickles and it got blocked up so I cut the top off but now too much comes out so it happens to the best of us doesn't it. Or am I the only one? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. There we go. Remembering to put that in some water now, give it a clean after being in the stickles. Because as you know, it's kind of glue, isn't it? So you've got to look after that little brush because it's, uh, it's so tiny and fine. We need it. It's very, very delicate. So we have to look after that. Okie dokie. Right. There we go. We are done. A lot of water there now. So there we have it. Uh, we've got two different cards. They they actually look quite similar. Um, but you know you can colour the houses whatever colour you fancy. I think they would look fab. It doesn't matter what colour they are. I think they'd look great. Um, thank you for joining me. 
for today's demonstration. I really enjoyed that. Um, you take care and I will see you very soon. Bye for now.